Hello everybody, welcome back to Deucecraft. In this episode, we are over here at the Guardian Farm. We're going to be working on it because... God, that thing is so ugly. Uh, number one, it's ugly. <laughs> it's a really old build. I built this a long time ago. I think I built it in 1.8.1. Something like that. A very, 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 very old build. And we're going to have to change it because... When the aquatic update comes out, the drowned also come out, and the drowned are basically aquatic zombies, and they spawn in the ocean here. And if we have a bunch of zombies spawning in the ocean, that means our mob cap is going to be taken up by drowned instead of guardians. So we're going to lose out on a lot of guardian drops. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to have to push this entire ocean back. That means... Uh, Clearing out all of the water, of course, getting glass, putting new glass all the way around, and then I'm going to get rid of the light blue glass altogether and put in some blue instead. Uh, I don't know why I use light blue. It's very, very ugly. And same thing with this. I'm going to get rid of this entire ugly blue, light blue terracotta wall. Just completely tear it out, and we'll do something else with that. Um, I haven't really decided how I want this to look just yet but still thinking about it uh, as for the design we're going to use the same design you can see up there I've got fence gates holding up water the uh, guardians will spawn inside of that water and then just fall straight through the fence gates that water mechanic still works in the updates uh, or the snapshots that we have so far so I'm hoping it's going to continue to work when the update comes out so we're just going to keep that as for the minecarts, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those because of uh, yeah, just issues. Like you can see, they get stuck, and when you load and unload chunks, they'll get stuck, and sometimes they disappear. So we'll figure something else out with that also. Down here, where we've got our storage room, um, you can see most of this stuff is completely full here. In fact, I think it's all full. Probably is. But... You can see down here, all I've got is hoppers that up above that go down into one chest, that go down to another hopper into a double chest, and I have no sorting system at all. Basically, I just come down here, empty these chests into my inventory, and then fill them up with these chests, and then once this gets full, I just dump out the entire chest into the ground there. But uh, yeah, we're going to come up with a filtration system and a new storage area that we'll put in the center of everything. Um... What else do we need to do? I think that's just about it. Uh, it shouldn't be too big of a task. Yeah, I don't think so. So let's go ahead and get started. And well, it's now two weeks later, and I have done some update videos, but they uh, the audio turned out really bad on them, so I scrapped them. So you didn't get to see all the progress that I've made, but take a look at this. So, yeah, instead of that little tiny 75 by 75 block spawn pad or dugout area that we had, the glassed in area there is the only part that was dug out, if you remember. Now, look at this. I dug out 143 by 143 all the way down to bedrock, so I almost doubled the entire area. Um, put in some concrete or powder concrete walls. And this is just going to be kind of an outside area of the inside of the Guardian Farm. Uh, yeah, so it's just an in, an outside wall of an inside area. <laughs> Hard to explain. You'll get the picture eventually uh, once I finish building. But you can see I swapped it out. The light blue glass for nice blue glass. And then, of course, we did concrete powder for walls here. And we're doing dark prismarine. Dark Prismarine for the uh, columns that go up with um, sea lanterns. And then I did a glazed terracotta here for the flooring. Um, I have to put glass on it, though, because we're in slime chunks. Uh, I think I've got six or seven slime chunks in here, or four or five. I don't remember. A bunch of slime chunks. So this whole area here, I had to throw down some redstone dust. I'll get rid of that eventually and figure out something else to put. But if I don't have the glass here and the redstone here, we got slime spawning in here. So yeah, I kind of defeated the whole point of digging out more area so that we 
would improve our mob cap, but hey, that's the way things go. So this is the central area. You can see we've got four kind of paths leading into the central area. This is where we're going to have our storage room. So we're going to have chests over here against a wall. Uh, eventually this will be walled in. So we'll have rows of chests all along these walls. And of course we'll have a filtration system up above here somehow filtering everything down into here. Now we're going to have to make a bunch of filters because well, we have four items that come out of the drops on the Guardians. We've got the Prismarine Shard, the Prismarine Crystal, then we've also got the Fish, and every once in a while we get Squids dropping Ink Sacks, so we're going to have to make a filter for that. So that's the four items. Plus, if, if, I'm not really sure how the uh, Drowned are going to spawn, but if they do happen to spawn in water blocks instead of on the ground inside of the water, they may spawn inside of the Guardian Farm also, which means... We should probably have a filter set up also for tridents just in case, right? So we want to catch any tridents that come through here. So I'll have to set up an extra filter just for that. And you can tell my frame rates are just dying right now because all of the uh, chests over there are completely full. So all the drops that the guardians are leaving behind are just sitting up there. So we've got thousands and thousands of drops just sitting up on that platform killing my frame rates right now. But... You can see each one of these little uh, areas in the middle, I dug down all the way down to bedrock, and if we go over here uh, to the unfinished side, right over this way, you can see what I mean. I dug everything down to bedrock. So yeah, 143 by 143 from, well the water which was y63 i think it was all the way down to bedrock so i've been digging for two weeks straight finally got all the digging done started putting up walls and then started filling in these areas and you can see i'm using mossy cobblestone and that's why i've got vines everywhere because mossy cobblestone you know how to make it you gotta put a vine with cobblestone so for two weeks or for you know almost a week now i've been doing this just chopping down vines putting it with uh, cobblestone to make this mossy cobblestone. And then, of course, I don't want mobs to spawn inside of here, so instead of just using one piece of glass, guess what? I've got glass all the way down to the cobblestone, so I've used tons and tons of glass. Each one of these sections takes five, well, five or six shulker chests full of, hey, you got a misplaced piece of glass here. But each section takes five or six uh, shulker chest full of mossy cobblestone so yeah that's a ton of vines that I've been growing a ton of mossy cobblestone that I've been making and a ton of glass that I've been smelting because we're not just using one piece of glass per cobblestone we're using two to three to four per cobblestone so I've been using uh, two to four times as much cobblestone per uh, Per, or two to three to four times as much glass as cobblestone. So I've been having to smelt a ton of sand. I pretty much decimated the desert over there. And uh, yeah, I'm still going to need a lot more to finish this off. I don't have enough. So I just smelted up two shulker chests earlier, and it gave me a section of about 20 blocks by four blocks wide or something like that. So yeah, I go through glass like you would not believe. Uh, I'm almost out of cobblestone also, so I'm going to have to get that some more. I'm going to have to do some more glass, but yeah, if you take a look over here. Whoa, over here in the desert, you can see just how much sand I have taken already, and it is looking horrible over here. What I've been doing here is, you can see it's a lot of sand uh, along here so I've just been digging straight down like that because if you go underwater it's harder than heck to dig up sand so I've been doing it from the top getting it that way and uh, yeah so digging up this whole area and yeah there is not much left now <laughs> but that's okay I need the glass um, so yeah that is the well now I'm stuck in the water that is what has been going on. So let me get back to work here and I'll show you what I mean by 
just how much glass and how much cobblestone I go through. Now, real quick though, take a look at the resources that I gathered from digging out just this area. Remember, we went from 75 by 75 dug out all the way down to bedrock. We switched that out to 143 by 143, uh, I think. It might be 145 by 145, I can't really remember. But all the way down to bedrock, so from this glass all the way to that wall, all the way around is what I just dug out. As you can see from right there at that borderline, all the way to there, and all the way around on all sides, that's what I dug down. And look at the amount of stuff we got from that. We got blocks of iron for days, got a bunch of gold, got tons of redstone, and I did use some of that redstone to cover up those blocks down below, so we're, there's still more redstone. A bunch of lapis, which is great because my lapis supply is just dwindling. I think I have probably uh, four or five stacks left because I've been using it for the cyan dye, so I definitely, I'm probably going to have to use some of this also just for cyan dye. And... We've got a bunch of diamonds. We've got five and a half stacks just from that. Tons of coal that I've been using also. I've been using it to smelt glass and fish to eat. Um, yeah, so that is what we've gotten from that. So basically what I do is I grab some cobble and I grab me some vines and I make me some moss stone just like this. Do. And do. And I've got some vines left over. That is a good thing. And I've been going through lots of iron shears. Then I grab me some glass. And remember, it takes a lot more glass than moss cobblestone to do these. And boop. And instead of just going over the uh, bedrock like this, we can't exactly do that. I want to give it some texture. But you can see right here, if I just went on top of that bedrock there would have bedrock showing there so it's kind of a puzzle piece putting it or kind of a puzzle putting it together the way uh, I want it to look so like there I can go down but there I have to go up there I can go down uh, there I can go down there I have to go up so yeah I'm just trying to block off all of the cobble I mean the uh, bedrock as much as possible with this moss cobblestone and make it look really interesting here in the meantime so yeah I'm just gonna do a little bit more of this and then I'll show you why my glass is just getting blown through ridiculous and I don't want to do that I don't want to waste any of this stuff because it is so hard to make growing all the vines but the vines there on the walls are gonna do two things we're Number one, we're making moss cobblestone out of it, but I'm also going to use it for the decoration in here. So we are going to have a little bit of vine on the wall, but I'm going to use webs to knock out some places so that it can't grow. Uh, so it'll kind of give it a little pattern, if you will, a little shape to the wall with the uh, vines. I can actually go down here, I think. No, I can't because that one had to come up. All right, let me just throw down a few more and then we'll take a look. Oop. And there and there and can go down there and can't go down there. So just this little bit, let's see how much glass it takes. So here is stack number one. Let's fill in the lowest areas first. And again, if I don't have these areas filled, completely filled with glass, we can get little monsters spawning in here instead of in our guardian farm and that's not what we want so I've got to completely glass this whole area in uh, I'm not gonna break that I'm gonna keep it Boop. So let's see did we use nope we didn't even use a full stack of moss cobblestone and we've already gone through a full stack of glass It's starting to get dark in here already. So now that was just the first two layers. Now we got to go one more layer above it. I would put water in here with glass on top, but again, we're going to get drowned spawning in here if I do it that way. So that's why I'm doing full glass all the way.
down to the bottom and it is cyan glass in case you are wondering it does look a lot better than the light blue and better than the blue in here I think it kind of looks like water but a really super clear water so we used what almost two full stacks on just that little bit of moss cobblestone area it's pretty bad so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we'll talk about the rest of the plan so for these walls here basically what I want to do I want to keep it the powder because I think the powder looks better than the, the solid concrete um, and I plan on making it kind of bend by doing this whoops I'm not gonna have very much I only have about five stacks of string completely total in my inventory at home so yeah I'm definitely gonna have to do something about that I'm gonna have to get string from somewhere maybe I'll do a spider hunt or that was too low oh darn it's gone or I'll build a, a spider farm I used to have a spider farm but I don't know what happened I think it was one one of the corrupted chunks but this is what I plan on doing to make the uh, uh, bye bye to make the the uh, concrete kind of curve around so you can see the spider webs for now or the string for now until they change game mechanics it does hold up the concrete powder it does hold up sand it does hold up any block that will fall so I'm gonna use that to our advantage to make this curve up and around and I haven't quite figured out how exactly I want this to work out but really what I want is just a couple of points on each side to go into the dome um, and the other ones I want to kind of curve into these to go into those so that it looks really nice uh, it doesn't look like every one of these spines is going up into the center so yeah I'll figure that out um what else there was something else uh, string oh yeah string I also want to have some vines on the wall but not everywhere if I let this vine grow well you can see what happens it just completely takes over all of the walls but I don't want that to happen so I'll have to get some more string lots and lots of string to stop the vines like that in certain areas so we can kind of do like patterns in the wall with the vines stuff like that um, yeah so that is the plan what else uh, this again this is going to be kind of a dome so this will be cut down into a circular shape um, still haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that because the distance that it's at right now is the distance that is needed for them to die so what I may need to do is use a water flushing system to flush them down into one central point which would be better uh, to collect the drops it'd be a lot easier also so I think I might do that so I'll probably have the bottom of the dome they'll just fall into and then be flushed into one central point where they'll be killed and then all the drops will come out through one central tube or one central uh, hopper system and then that will be the way that that is done and then we'll have the dome on top where they spawn so yeah I'm still this is still a work in progress I'm still figuring out how I want things hi Mr. Endermite so can't tell you exactly how things are gonna get done but it's gonna look really nice once it's done right now this video is getting kinda long so what I'm going to oh no 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 oh my goodness huh well, what I'm going to do is sit here and heal up for a little bit, and then I am going to get back to work on this. So hopefully by the next video, I'll have the inside or the interior completely done, and we will start working on the uh, actual guardian farm area, the part where we're going to have to where we're going to have the dome. Why do I have? Oh, I need a cobblestone back here. So we'll work on the dome. I'll figure all of that out. Then hopefully by that time I'll also have some string and we can finish uh, doing the walls. And 
uh, I don't know. Let me know if I should go with uh, concrete or powder concrete for the walls. I may just end up flushing water down this back to turn it into concrete, but I haven't decided yet. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh, just keeping you guys up to date. I know it's been a few weeks since I put out a video, and that is because I've been working my butt off on this. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. And crunch. Now I'm trapped.